The videotape you're about to see is different. It was shot in late 1994 in the government's own backyard, the super-secret Nellis Test Range in Southern Nevada. Had the tape not been smuggled out, it might well have been classified by authorities. The base employees in this report appear at considerable professional risk, and therefore their identities have been heavily disguised. Remote controlled cameras monitor the 7,700 square miles of airspace above the Nellis Range. The cameras record fighter jet training, tactical exercises, and in at least one case, this UFO. The video, from a tracking location known only as S 30, was fed into Nellis Air Force Base in Las Vegas. Personnel there monitor what is supposed to be classified data about aircraft runs over the three million acres of desert that make up the Nellis Range. An unknown aircraft making its way onto the complex, says aerospace journalist Bill Sweetman, is not considered standard operating procedure. I don't think you'd really see many objects wandering in by accident. They're very, very careful uh, to ensure that sort of thing doesn't happen. The potential for serious accident if somebody is really straying into the range is very, very serious. And yet, something obviously did stray in and it frightened the camera's remote control operators. This craft shows up, and it's like they're playing with kids. It's like, do whatever they want and buy now. Uh, that's scary. I've never seen anything like this before. This was my first encounter seeing anything of this nature. Um, and I've been working in the ranges for close to 10 years. It seemed to move in whichever direction it wanted to go whenever it wanted to, contrary to any aircraft that I've seen in the past. Chuck DeCaro is a former member of U.S. Special Forces, specializing in state-of-the-art military technology. He has analyzed hours of video footage of supposed UFOs, debunking many. But he has never seen anything like the Nellis UFO. In my first look at that tape, I said, wow. And I continue to say, wow. There are only three things that could be on that tape. One is a very elaborate and very expensive hoax. I don't think that's what we're seeing. The second is some kind of a black project, a secret project, that has some very unusual aerodynamic characteristics. And the third, if you can eliminate all those aerodynamic answers, uh, could be a true unknown. And if that is an unknown, if you can come to that conclusion, you've got a pretty interesting piece of history right there. To rule out the possibility of a hoax, Sightings asked a government subcontractor who uses the same image analysis computer as the Department of Defense to analyze the S-30 tapes. He has asked to remain anonymous. The video appears to be genuine. Specifically, it was taken by contractor personnel that are operating tracking sites for the United States Air Force. Could the Nellis UFO be a rare glimpse at a military black project? The stealth bomber is one former black project tested in Nevada and early on misidentified by civilians as a UFO. But our sources insist that when black projects are tested, the tracking cameras are deactivated. The camera operators in the tracking sites are not exposed to those highly classified aircraft on a, on a typical basis. Chuck DeCaro and the government video engineer compared notes on the possibility that this UFO was a black project. What's startling about it is that it, it doesn't resemble any shapes that I would know immediately. Um, and that's why I thought it was interesting to start with. It almost appears to be like spherical in the center and with an appendage on the bottom and on the top. You don't see any evidence of rotors. No. The, uh, and also the startling thing is it, it, it seems to change shape. Another anomalous characteristic of the object is its apparent ability to change shape instantaneously. The physical profile of the object changes almost frame to frame that sometimes it appears almost to be a, a fuzzy gassy cloud in some portions of the video it appears to be several spherical objects surrounding a dark mass to get a better look at the flight characteristics of the Nellis UFO sightings consulted with Chip Peterson 
a video processing expert. He stabilized and enhanced several minutes of the S30 video. I basically moved each frame, and you can see the frames actually moving now, showing the degree that I had to move the image in order to keep this object stable in the center. The stabilized image clearly shows the odd shape of the object shifting and turning in the sky. I then took the numbers one by one and reconstructed the flight path. And that's the only way I could determine what the actual motion was. And I recreated that in three dimensions. It's initially heading away from the camera and it, it abruptly changes. And during this phase, the range is increasing. It's actually going away from the camera. And at this point, it changes direction wind wouldn't do that it wouldn't change that abruptly and it wouldn't follow a constant radius throughout this entire portion here it's all at constant uh, distance from the camera it's as if it's observing the ground position just as the ground is observing it and maintaining this constant uh, distance based on his knowledge as an aerospace engineer peterson offered one possible explanation for the abrupt turns performed by the ufo you could interpret it as if it determined it was on radar at this point. Perhaps it, uh, if, if you're on radar, of course, you can sense that in all of our fighter planes. You know when you're being tracked. As soon as you get a lock or you, you get this radar signal, it would seem to me that this object was interested in who's, who's observing it, and it turned in order to find out. When something starts to change shape like that in the air, you become very, very are puzzled because you realize that you're looking at something that appears to involve a whole new technology that we don't understand. What you want to do, of course, is go and find the person who's invented this and say, whatever made you think of that and what does it do and how does it do it? <laughs> but we will probably never know who created this new technology. Questions about the earthly or otherworldly origins of the Nellis UFO are unanswerable. Until the mastermind behind this craft comes forward, there is only speculation and fear. It's like uh, us viewing an ant farm. And the ants think they're it. That's the scary part. To this day, the origin of the UFO has not been determined. Sightings forwarded a copy of the Nellis videotape to the Pentagon requesting an official response. As of this broadcast, the Air Force has not responded to sightings' request. Next, sightings uncovers astonishing similarities between UFOs over Nellis Air Force Base and Mexico City. There's also four little bumps on there. Recently, sightings brought you UFO footage smuggled out of a super-secret military installation in Nevada. Well, since then, the tape of the anomalous craft has been undergoing analysis by an image enhancement expert. As sightings correspondent Carla Wohl reports, this expert has found similarities between the Nellis craft and many of the UFOs sighted in the long-term flap over Mexico City. Since 1991, an alarming number of UFOs have been sighted by thousands of people in the skies above Mexico City. Now the strange invasion seems to be spreading north. Uh, unknown aircraft. P-1 control doesn't know what type of aircraft it is either. You are hearing the voice of the American military monitoring a UFO as it hovers over a secret desert facility, part of Nellis Air Force Base in Las Vegas, Nevada. As part of sightings ongoing investigation into the Nellis craft, the video is being analyzed by a Defense Department subcontractor specializing in image enhancement. He believes the Nellis UFO bears an uncanny resemblance to many of the UFOs observed over Mexico City, concerned that his startling conclusions could compromise his top-level security clearance, his identity is being concealed. This is the Nellis Air Force Base. Right, this okay. is the Nellis Air Force Base range footage. Now, this piece of video right here was taken in 1991 during the eclipse in Mexico City. What specifically did you notice that was similar? There appears to be four little bumps on there, and there's also four little bumps on this guy. We did do some extensive work on this spine area, this ridge along the top and along this area here. And when we enhance these areas, uh, it reconstructs very similar. Is it this extreme black, this, this pitch black circle on each of these objects that, that sort of was, was the, the whistle for you that, that sounded the alarm like that there might be some similarity between these two objects? Yes, yeah, 
Um, that area was puzzling to us in the original analysis because it appeared to be so highly absorbent uh, of light. Most objects uh, illuminated in this bright a sky, um, even surfaces that are way down on the bottom out of the sunlight in deep shadow, still reflect light back to the camera. This object stops reflecting right here on this forward edge and it falls off very rapidly to pure black down the center. Very, very black, what we call super black. Do you know any aircraft? Are you familiar with any aircraft that would look like that? No. In the sky? Uh, we looked at it in comparison with all known types of military and commercial and private type aircraft, uh, but we were unable to find any wings or anything on the geometry of this. Each UFO has a black ridge center, an identical profile, and a white diffuse shape shadowing the core. But these are not the characteristics that excite our expert, who's trained to analyze minute detail in satellite photos. We took some video from a golf ball coming up through the sky and down to the green, produces a similar object to a UFO. It's a small white dot in the sky. Um, we were able to go to those images and with, with very minimal work, able to bring out the dimples in the golf ball in flight. When we look at these images, uh, we can't get the definition of the geometry that we would expect for objects as close as this one was to a very good camera. Uh, the objects by nature are fuzzy or undefined or unclear. And this one was shot by a very expensive uh, tracking camera uh, on a very stable mount. Uh, this one was shot by a handheld uh, consumer video camera. And there's no difference in, in uh, resolution. And we find that puzzling, that uh, no matter how many of these images you get from whatever source, they all have that uh, ball of cotton syndrome or that fuzziness to them. When they were seen only over Mexico City, it was a phenomenon. Now that the activity of seemingly identical UFOs has spread into American airspace, it can only be called a trend. The sightings investigation will continue.